a sad day. Mr. Coffee, he broken. A single tear rolls down Mongo eye. Luckily, Mongo got a spare. Take a guess at how old this thing is. Works like a charm, made a nice fresh pot this morning. What it did was, fill it with water, get some fresh coffee grounds in there, turn it on, and then it only make half a pot. So it fill her up to half, and then nothing. So it just quit, mid pot. Well, Mongo Curiosity say, what killed the coffee pot? And can Mongo fix it? Uh, under here, usually there's these little feet things. They pull out, and there's usually screws under there, and it looks like those two not there. They got a Torx bit down there. Yep, because the Torx bit keeps everybody out. It's even the safety Torx. Just these two front ones that are the safety Torx bit. The middle two and the rear two, they're standard Phillips. Don't get much simpler than the coffee maker. AC power comes into your switch, it's on or off. And then there's a little temperature control circuitry type thing there, probably what failed. And then it goes through a heating element, back to the switch, back to the grid. Coffee makers, they have a water inlet from the reservoir up here. Water sits in this little tube and above that tube, there's a heating element runs around. As the water there gets heated up, it's forced upwards. And then it falls into the area with the coffee grounds, drips through, and you have a cup of coffee. That simple, so for it to fail, can't be much to it. Start out on ohms and just double check our switch to make sure it's working. And point two, so switch is working. Check out the sensor here. Side to side. Point four, so this is still connected and good. Point two. Point two. And now somewhere in there we have a break. That means the heating element itself actually burned out. Mongo was really hoping it was maybe a switch or this temperature sensor, because these are easy to bypass. Not really recommended, because that's a safety device. But in Mongo's world, Mongo will bypass that all day. Mongo don't need sensors. Mongo is the sensors. And that's the heating plate itself. It's nothing more than a chunk of metal, folks. Just little tubes, they pop right off. Some of them will have a clip, others won't. These don't, just pull them off. Of course, Mongo find one in the pile. From a really old coffee maker, circuit board got all corroded. Controls way down by the base plate, so it gets spilled on and then you get bad corrosion. Anyway, but we got a heating element. See if this solder gun will take this off. Nope, that must be actually welded to it. And now comes the tricky part, and I try to match this up. So we're gonna need this little sensor in there. And really you don't need the sensor in there. It's just a safety thing. So if you want it, you can probably get rid of it, just bypass it, but Mongo figure show how to do it. Here we go. So we got one lead coming to the temperature switch, then that'll have to go into the heating element, come out of the heating element. Question is, which ones do we want to go where? Eh, we really don't want those wires in there, so yeah, Mongo gonna do that one. So we're just gonna make a little jaunt from there to there. Cut him there. 
strip a little bit off and we can get a little connector crimped on. And we'll shave these guys back a little bit. Mongo's going to do a test run with just the base plate sitting, not attached, because at the end, Mongo's going to want to flip it over, check for leaks. Get a little water in here. Not doing a lot, just in case there are leak. Don't see no wet spots under there. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Little LED lights on. Now we just, uh, you know, like like watching paint dry, only a little bit faster. And it's working. It's hot water. Got some steam coming out the top. Mongo likes having a pile of parts out back for this reason. When one coffee maker dies, you can always save the parts. So when the next coffee maker dies, you got some capabilities. That way you don't have to buy nothing. Well, hopefully this video helped you if you ever have a coffee maker that doesn't work anymore or died or whatever. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.